Hello folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and well, you'll have to ignore me, I'm dusted. Yeah, apologies for the radio silence, battling the black dog. Uh, it's been particularly bad to be perfectly honest the past couple of months and about a Covid, but for those of you who are in the UK or follow veteran related things, yeah, this weekend was Remembrance in the UK, which is our, our sort of Veterans Day for the US folks. And, well, I've been a bit housebound with the old black dog and not being able to get out, you know what I mean? But I never miss Remembrance. And I found myself at the Cenotaph. And while I was there, sort of looking around, remember what I used to do and the things I used to do. And the things that didn't scare me before or I didn't have a problem with before. You know, being surrounded by what your berries and tin can do that to you. And I realised I just needed to kick myself up the backside and get myself in. So this is me getting myself in and doing the awkward bit of, right, let's just get over this. But those of you who have had my back and look forward to me being back know this, know what I'm doing. But it puts it all in perspective, doesn't it? When I was 17, I went on my first big exercise to Germany. Exercising across the Rhine. Went across with my mate Bid. Yeah, his first big exercise with, with the regiment. Unfortunately, Bid died of carbon monoxide poisoning. So, even though it was an exercise, you know, I got drunk with him on the ferry on the way home, and the next time I saw him, it was he was in his coffin at his funeral. Sorry about the darkness of that. Uh, I'm sort of trying to say, putting it in perspective, he'd be kicking my backside right now. <laughs> Considering what I, I've, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this is me. Yes, it's awkward. Now, if you're wondering why I'm dusting, right, let's wrap that up. Yes, this is me. This is awkward. We know. But, if you're going to kick yourself up the backside, who else is going to? So, here I am, doing it. Hopefully, we'll keep it going. Right, what am I doing? Wetting the whistle. Okay, uh, I've been playing around with this swamp idea. It's been sort of like a a comfort project, but I really want to get into it now. I want to build the set, if you know what I mean. So I've been looking at sort of stuff I can grab, I can throw into it, and I can use. And I've got these old GW buildings. Yeah, now I've had these for a while. And in fact, that one was stuck on top of that one as a massive tower, but I've split them down. My idea is I'm going to put them in the swamp, but I'm going to cut them. Yeah, and do them at a slope so they look like they, they sort of sunk. Probably maybe put some wooden support, stuff like that. Now I've got this one, which I broke broke off from there. Yeah, it's basically a bit of a box. I wouldn't mind being able to put some rims around it, some sort of detailing. Yeah, maybe some broken bits. But guess what? I ain't got none. <laughs> at all. I've searched everywhere. I've got tons of industrial GW plastic, but gothic stuff, this is it. So, I'm going to see if I can scavenge, or if not, find some dressing pieces. But I can still mount that on the slope, and I can mount that on the slope, which will give us a couple more pieces, plus our skulls, plus our trees. And then, I've got this. This is... The Altar of Evil from Pegasus Hobbies. Now, this is a bit interesting because when I started the channel 10 years ago, yeah, what you call it? This was one of the first pieces of terrain I bought with the intention of doing something and maybe selling it or something like that. So I've never actually got it out of its box and it's been sat on my shelves for 10 years. And it seems since we're doing this sort of like chaotic, nurgly, Valheim Swamp. Yeah, we should have a look at it. That's some packaging in it. Right, let's get this on. Ooh, right, let's get it. 
Oh, but that's got some weight on it. Right, so, there we have it. That's quite nice, isn't it? I do quite like that. I mean, it's got the skulls. We could do something on top of there. They've got like these, I think they're supposed to be brazers or something. Yeah, but we could do something on those. Yeah, tie it into the green. So, pull my, oh, sorry. Yeah, the green effect that we've got on there. Yeah, we could easily tie that into those. Yeah, weather this in. I think we'll have to knock that back. Yeah, but I think it will go quite well. I mean, I've got some more skulls and stuff over there I can add to the train and stuff like that. I mean, I am adding GW buildings, so skulls would be appropriate, wouldn't they? Right, I need to figure out how I'm going to get some gothic stuff. Yeah, who do I know who's got some gothic stuff? Local. I'll find someone. If not, yeah, I'll just wing it. <laughs> you know me. But I do like that. Right, my next job is I've got to just start getting stuck into basing. So I've got to get some bases made up for this. I've got to get these on the uh, belt sander. Uh, probably actually get a saw on and cut the bulk off and then sand them down. Yeah. I've got saws. We've got tools. We can do this. Right. Uh, let me shift that. I'm back in the studio. Uh, fingers crossed. Things keep progressing well. Uh, I'll get back with another update as soon as I've got something I can show you and I've got something I can feel proud of. And until then, yeah, uh, say hello in the comments. And the other thing I need to do is I need to get caught up on messages and emails and stuff like that. I've got a bit of a deluge where I've been hiding. Time to reconnect. So, yeah, train time. I love this bit. Don't know why. Do you know what I mean? Bloody idiot, Arctic. Right, it's me in it. All the best, yeah. Links on the screen, links down below, all that palaver, yeah. If you're new here, follow the channel. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I'm all over the place. Right, I'm gonna get cracked on with the bases. In the meantime, links on the screen if you've missed me, yeah. If you've sent me a message, You'll be getting a reply in the next couple of days. And until the next video, be well, folks. All the best, yeah? Ta-da.